Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. I've been spending a lot of time recently enhancing my climate tools. This video is about enhancements to the daily station temperature data at RealClimateTools.com. Let's click on the Daily Station Temperatures link. What comes up is a graph of annual average maximum temperatures in the state of Alabama since the 1880s. We're going to zoom in on it by right-clicking the mouse and dragging a rectangle around the area of interest. We can see by moving the mouse around that the warmest years in Alabama were 1925 and 1954. Let's look now at a different state. This time it'll be Indiana. We can't see all the data, so I'm going to click on the Reset Zoom button. We can see that the warmest year in Indiana was 1921. Now let's select an individual station. I'm going to choose Indiana University at Bloomington, Indiana. What comes up is all 44,590 daily maximum temperatures recorded at Bloomington since the 1890s. I can see that there's a bad data point here, so I'm going to right click and drag and zoom in around the good data. The hottest temperature ever recorded at Bloomington was July 14, 1936 when they reached 110 degrees. This is the data for all 12 months. Let's look at individual months now. First, we'll look at January. The warmest January day in Bloomington was January 25, 1950 when they reached an incredible 78 degrees. Now let's look at the other months. Here's the data for February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The weather during winter is of course colder, but it's also more variable than it is during the summer. Note that during December there's a very wide range in temperatures, but during July the range is much smaller. Now let's look at the data for all 12 months at Bloomington once again. I'm going to zoom in so that we only see those temperatures above 90 degrees. First I press the V key on the keyboard because I want to zoom vertically. Then I'm going to use the scroll wheel to zoom. Now we can only see the 3,567 temperatures above 90 degrees recorded at Bloomington since the 1890s. It's pretty clear from this graph that hot weather at Bloomington, Indiana used to be much more common and much more severe than it has been in recent decades. Now I'm going to zoom in on the hottest year which occurred in 1936. Let's zoom again and look at 1936 a little bit closer. This is all of the July temperature data at Bloomington from the year 1936. During July 1936, they averaged 97 degrees Fahrenheit. This is all the data for July 2022 when they averaged 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So this summer, they were 11 degrees cooler than they were in 1936. We've just been looking at United States data. Now let's look at some other countries like Canada. The warmest year in Alberta was 1918. In Manitoba, the warmest year was 1939. These are all the temperatures available for Estevan, Saskatchewan, where they had their warmest day on August 8, 1958, when they reached 106 degrees. At London's Heathrow Airport, they had their warmest day on July 19th of this year when they reached 104 degrees. Let's zoom in and take a look at that heat wave. Heathrow had seven days over 90 degrees Fahrenheit this summer. But during the summer of 1976, they had 10 days above 90 degrees. Another thing we can use this tool for is looking at the quality of the data in a particular country. This is all of the available data for the Congo. You can see that it's very sparse and it doesn't cover a very long period of time. It's pretty difficult to reach any meaningful conclusions about temperature trends in Central Africa because there's so little data available. This tool has a huge amount of capability and I'm just scratching the surface in this video. I'm going to finish this up by looking at the data for Fayette, Iowa. Their hottest temperatures occurred during the incredible heat waves of 1901 and 1936. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the heat wave of 1901. It was pretty spectacular. 
During July 1901, Fayette averaged 97 degrees and got up to 110 degrees on July 24th. The July 1936 heat wave was almost as hot. They got up to 110 degrees and averaged 95 for the month. There's other types of data available besides maximum temperatures. We can also look at minimum temperatures. We can look at precipitation and we can look at snow. The snowiest day at Fayette, Iowa was March 6, 1959, when they got 21 inches. This tool provides huge amounts of data for a number of different countries, and I'll add more countries in the future. Here's some data from France. Anyone with a computer and access to the internet can access this data. Just go to realclimatetools.com and click on the Daily Station Temperatures link. Toto believes that people can learn a lot about the climate very quickly using this tool. There is massive amounts of climate data available and it can be accessed and visualized very quickly from this website. I find it invaluable for quickly identifying false claims made about the climate by the press. You can visit Toto Curie Caesar Tokinoopla on the web at realclimatescience.com.